Hey, thanks for stopping by my YouTube channel. Do me a favor while you're here, click on subscribe and press that bell so you'll get a notification via email every time I have a great interview like this one. Great radio stations across the land, JoePags.com, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, email. It's all right there, plus the live video feed. It's the Joe Pags Show. Glad to have you here. Really glad to have uh, the, the sisters. They, I feel like they're sisters of mine as well. It's Diamond and Silk. Diamond and Silk, how are you? Oh, we're wonderful. I hope you're doing well. Doing very well. We're so glad to have you on. I, I mentioned this earlier. At some point, i got to figure out how to put you just full screen and get me the hell out of the shot. Because <laughs> I think this is all anybody wants to see, let's be honest. So oh. everything good? You staying COVID-free? Uh, we're staying COVID free. We're still in quarantine. Uh, we only come together when we have to do our chit chat lives and all of our interviews. I wanted to to bring up something that happened three weeks ago, four weeks ago, and I sent you guys a note about this. I'm glad that we, we have you today because okay. the Washington Post and the New York Times and MSNBC and CNBC, they hate you. They don't yeah. like you because you're strong, you're vibrant, you're funny, you're conservative. Oh, you happen to be black. So you're not supposed to do what you're doing. That's causing a real rift. So they know they can't get to you because they've tried for years. So they went after your parents. When you saw what the Washington Post did, bringing up your parents, you two are real sisters. You have the same mother and father. I think people yeah. think that we just say sisters and you're not really sisters. You are. Um, uh, your siblings. So they go after your parents because they can't get to you. What does that make you think? Well, they cowards. Yep. What a cowardly move. Let me tell you something. My parents are in their 70s. They're retired. Yep. My mother is now a double amputee. Uh, we love our parents. So the disparaging, demeaning things that these the media, the left-wing media say about our parents, we just totally ignore that. Yeah. We were raised with good parents that raised us to be strong, prosperous, and wonderful women. Uh, we're not yeah. in the streets. We don't slide up and down the pole. We're not in and out of prison. We're not drunken uh, uh, liquor drinkers. You see what I'm saying? We're, we're diamond and silk. So we, we love our parents. And I don't care what anybody say about our parents. We know the truth about our parents. They can write their hit pieces all they want. Yeah. Whatever. And what? it also lets me know that what we are are a double threat. That's to true. their narrative. They're afraid they of you. Know it. That's right. They know it. And they know that sticks and stones may break our bones, but names would never hurt us. Mm -hmm. and, and the whole intention behind that was to somehow sully your parents. You came from a great mother and father. They supported you guys. Obviously, they raised you to be independent thinkers. I have no idea what your parents' politics are. And frankly, I don't care because I love your politics. I love how you express your politics and you keep me laughing. So uh, their intention, I think, uh, look, those on the left, loved it they ate it up those of us who are either in the middle even middle left middle right and right right like i am we loved it because we know that they went after somebody because they felt they found a weakness in you and it really wasn't a weakness your parents are a strength for you let me tell you something we were raised in a christian household yeah and we love our parents and this is what the media do. They do anything to distract, deflect, mm -hmm. and they come out to us in all kinds of ways. This didn't just start it. They've been doing this They've kind of foolishness. Yeah. Diamond and Silk are not going to be quiet. We have a right to speak up in this country. We're Americans. We're conservative Americans. We're black Americans. And our parents are Trump supporters. That's right. They are. They used to be lifelong Democrats like we used to be lifelong right. Democrats. And they switched their party to Republican to vote for President Trump. And That's now right. my father says sometimes, you know, I can't believe I ever voted for the Democrat Party. That's right. So let's not get it twisted. Whatever you read in the media, please. Don't, you don't, you can't believe everything that you read because they lie. That's right. That's their thing. They lie, lie, lie. lie. Look up Diamond and Silk. Go to diamondandsilk.com. Follow them on all the social media. Diamond and Silk over on Twitter, on Facebook, on Instagram, everywhere. Because you're going to get the truth straight from them. Don't believe the other, the other. What like Joe Biden would say, malarkey. Um, when it comes to to black people being conservative, you always have been. Black folks in America have historically been Republican or conservative. They made the switch, as you and I have talked about, in the 20s and 30s when they thought FDR was going to do the New Deal for them. Blacks were left out of the New Deal, just between us. But recently, there was an article written by GQ magazine, I don't know if you saw this, where they called George Wallace a Republican. George Wallace was a far left-wing Democrat segregationist. He was pro-lynching. He was pro-KKK. He was, he was the typical Democrat in America. Yet, for some reason, yet again, oops, we made a mistake, the left-wing media again tried to call somebody who is of that ilk a Republican. We see that often now, and I love that we have you to counterbalance that, but when you hear something like that, 
But what does it make you say? What does it make you think? I mean, it's typical well, now, right? Well, they're trying to rewrite history. That's right. If you look yep. at our museums, they're saying stuff that's false. You know, you're trying to uh, 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 put in the minds of these millenniums that uh, it was Republicans that started all of this chaos. Right. Let me tell you something. Jim Crow days, the KKK, the, the party that wanted to keep slavery because they didn't want to vote against their interests. You have to remember that slave owners were mostly pretty much all Democrats. Democrats. Yeah. So understand yeah. that. These people were Democrats, period. Mm -hmm. And what they're trying to do is rewrite history, and we can't allow them and let them rewrite history. Even when you Google some things now, it's switched around. It it's right. changed around. You can't let them rewrite history. And if you look at us being quarantined and some of these governors that won't open back up their state, mm -hmm. it almost seemed like history is being re rewritten. They're yep. trying to push these socialistic ideas, you know, and they're trying to uh, take us back to the days of slavery. That's exactly right. And we've never lived through that, but our ancestors have and not just black people but all people all right. people now, now. Is what they're trying to do yes well and that's the thing it's about power and control isn't it if you can control oh. the population you can't go to church but you can get an abortion you can get you can get some liquor or some marijuana but you can't go and get an elective surgery that might make grandma walk better because she's got a new hip um at you, the end of the you, day they are completely controlling us with their thumbs on us pretty much like what they've done to minorities for all of time we're going to send you to the project going to send you to the projects going to send you to the public school going to send you to going to give you a, put you on welfare so you have to keep on voting for us, right? Uh -huh. yes. Give you a pro program, make you a project, and tell you to go stand in line and get a commodity like some cheese or some peanut butter with yeah. all of that oil on top of it. <laughs> but we're not a commodity. We can't be bought and sold. Um, and we're going to, we have our own minds we can now think yeah. for ourselves. We happily left the Democrat plantation. Yeah. And we recommend to everybody to leave the Democrat plantation. You are not slaves. This is the land of the free, the home of the brave, not the slaves. So stop allowing people to treat you like it. And, and then stop acting like it. Stop sitting around allowing people to take our civil liberties and, and, and take and, and pounce on our constitutional rights as if it's okay for them to do it. Mm -hmm. We have to stand up, stand strong together, and speak out against all of the injustice we we see happening in this country. I love that you don't allow yourselves to be shouted down. And I'll give you a couple of examples of when people have. And by the way, it's Diamond and Silk, diamondandsilk.com. Go there right now. Chitchattour.com. Once that gets up and running again, you'll see the dates uh, show up there. And follow them on all the social media. Kanye West dared say that people still have a slave mindset because they're in the urban plantation. He was attacked mercilessly by the left, including one of the reporters at TMZ who just didn't understand what he meant. How dare you say we're still enslaved? What are you, crazy? No, no. People in their mindset are still allowing the Democrats to control them. That's, That's the right. modern day uh, plantation. The weekend dared say not all blacks are Democrats or black people don't have to be Democrats. Man, was he attacked to the point where he had to say, yeah, but I'm not a Trump supporter. So we're little by little seeing people follow your lead. You guys are out in front saying, we can be whoever we want to be. We're Americans. You're not going to uh, control us because of That's our right. skin tone or our history. Mm -hmm. Do you think more people are getting some some gumption and some bravery to come out and, and be heard as well? Isaiah Washington, another one who's out there saying, mm -hmm. you know what? I'm black, but I'm a proud conservative, and I like what Trump is doing. You think yeah. more are going to follow suit? Because the, the people on the left are getting scared because they're seeing people leave yeah. the plantation. Mm -hmm. That's right. right. And we have our own minds. We, we can, can think, think for, for ourselves. ourselves. And I think a lot of people are waking up. Yes. Listen, just because you're black, it doesn't mean you have to vote Democrat. That's yeah. right. You can get off the Democrat plantation and vote for whoever you want to vote for. And yes, the left are afraid. They need to be very afraid. People are tired of the antics. They're tired of the, their socialistic ideas. Yep. And they're tired of being painted in one box. I don't need you just to come around every four years when you want to vote. You held Congress for how many years now? Uh -huh. You haven't done anything for Black America. Joe Biden has been in all, I mean, been in government for almost half a century. He hasn't done one thing for Black America, not one. Just telling us that the NAACP endorsed you is not going to get it. That's right. What have you done for Black America? Uh -huh. You haven't done anything. So please stop acting as if we're supposed to vote for a 70-some-year-old old man mm -hmm. and, and take your word just because you've been in politics all of this long time and because the NAACP endorsed you. Here's That's the deal. Right. The NAACP don't speak for everybody. That's right. And, and Joe Biden did do something against the black community by supporting that 1994 crime bill right. that 
uh, darn near uh, decimated the black community. So, so he did do something. So if he want to talk about what he did, talk uh-huh. about that. that. You, mean, you mean the crime bill where Hillary Clinton said that young black men are super predators? Is it, Was that the crime bill where Bill Clinton said, let's, let's give a stiffer jail and prison sentences to those dealing crack than we do to those dealing powder cocaine? Because who was dealing the crack? Well, that was in the black neighborhoods. Who was dealing the powder cocaine? That was white guys. So, mm-hmm. so yeah, the, the same Joe Biden who supported all of that. And by the way, Kamala Harris called a racist to his face uh, at these debates. She's ready to be his, his running mate now. That's how strange the Democrats well, are. It's, it's called hip, being a hypocrite. Yes. You know, Kamala Harris is a hypocrite. Yep. Because if you call a man a racist to his face, then live up to the words that you said to him. Is he a racist or were you just doing that for antics? Or for the for the television, mm-hmm. right. which one is it? But she wants to be picked probably as vice president, so she want to play my, nice and ignored his bigotry That's and, right. his, and and his the, the the sentiments of his words, which really echoes racism. Yeah, yeah. It, it, you couldn't you couldn't say it more correctly. It is diamondandsilk.com, diamondandsilk.com. Go and follow these incredible ladies right now on all the social media. I'd never heard of Charlemagne. Maybe I'm stupid and old. I don't know. I, I don't know who this guy was, but he was interviewing Joe Biden today. And, uh, and Joe Biden said, if you vote for Trump, you ain't black. And then he threw on some weird accent. It was very strange. And now he's apologizing. I should not have been that uh, uh, that, that coy. Or what, what word did he use? I shouldn't have said that. Uh, you know, I didn't really mean it like that. He did mean it like that. The, left, meant- is, the left is afraid, uh, aren't they, that black people are no longer going to buy the BS. Black right. people shouldn't buy the BS. But, but but he basically said, you know, if you have a problem with choosing between me or, 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 or Donald Trump, then you ain't black. Crazy. And, and that, that right there is really an insult because you're telling me that in order for me to vote for you, I got to really be dumb. I got to be dumbfounded too, seeing that you are not able to even put five words together to make a sentence. Right. You're telling me that I got to be in a closet with my eyes closed and not see that you are not fit to be in the White House. We don't even know, he don't even know if he's coming or going up or down, in or out. He don't even know that. So to say that to us like that, it makes it sounds like to me that he wants to be the slave master and he thinks that we are the little slaves that's just gonna go along and get along with the same old program mm-hmm. that's been going on with these Democrats Period. But he has to understand that he don't own black he people. He don't own us. He don't own black he thinks people. He does. And we can think for ourselves. We don't need him thinking for us. He that's must right. know that. The only person who says something like he said it thinks he owns you. And that's the exactly. scariest part. There are a lot of black people who won't wake up. There are black people today on Twitter making excuses for why it was okay what he said. There was that's one woman what? who happened to be a white woman who said, Joe Biden could boil and eat babies. And I would still vote for him over Donald Trump. This well, is how nuts they are, ladies. But, but, but why would you, women, why would you want to vote for somebody that's pushing socialist ideas, right. that's pushing China propaganda? Uh-huh. He's not even man enough to stand up for the American people and for America. That's right. And we are fa- we are in the midst of a pandemic. Yep. Think about that for a, for a minute. What have he done for America uh-huh. besides enrich himself? That's right. And that's what you have people like about. that. When you have people like that, we don't need to hear nothing from those p- individuals. Whenever you find yourself still still stuck in the same rut, yep. looking really messed up, we don't need to hear from you. Because, see, as long as you continue to do the same thing, expecting something different, it's not going to work like that. You got to do something different if you want a different result. This man has been in government position for almost half a century. What is he going to be able to do in four years that he hadn't done in half a century right. for the black community? Yeah. It's time for, for all Americans. But, but it's time for all of us to wake up to what's been going on. As long as we stay asleep in a stupor, we're going to keep getting the same exact mm-hmm. thing. You know, I could talk to you all day. It's Diamond and Silk. I've got one one last question. I'd be remiss to not ask you this. And and by the way, have I, I don't know if I mentioned this, but I love you. Love, girl, love. Just thought I'd drop that on you. Uh, <laughs> but I've got to ask you about Fox News. Obviously, uh, the left was rejoicing. Ah, look, Diamond and Silk. Fox News, they're not doing it anymore. Is there anything to talk about when it comes to that? Is it just something where you guys didn't want to do it anymore? Something happened where they said, hey, let's not do this. What's the story there, if any? Well, let me just say this here. Allegations, accusations without accurate information is the equivalent of fake news. Agreed. So during this pandemic, if you want to know everything that happened, we need you to go to diamondandsilkbook.com to pre-order our book that's coming out in August. Good. We wrote everything out in real time to that's tell right. you all, play by play, exactly what happened. So go to diamondandsilkbook.com, 
to pre-order your book and you'll get it all right there in the book. And also, if you want to stay connected to Diamond and Silk, go to our new social media platform, okay. Chat It. C-H-A-T-D-I-T dot com. Okay. Go to chat it dot com so that you can stay connected to Diamond and Silk. Yeah. Uh, say it again, C-H-A-T-D-I-D dot com? Uh-uh. C-H-A-T, D like dog, I-T dot com. Perfect. I'm going to go there. Can, can I get verified or something? You guys know me, uh-huh. right? You can get signed up. <laughs> you have to verify yourself and you're in. That's we'll make right. it happen. Diamond and Silk, again, I could talk to you for two hours. Let's not be strangers. Let's do this again soon, can we? We will. We will. I always appreciate it. We're back after this in the Joe Pag Show. Stay right here.